Hey friends, I wanted to do a just a real quick little video or tip uh, about small torque wrenches. It, it's not uncommon, a lot of technicians will have their 3 8 and half inch drive torque wrenches uh, in their toolbox, but uh, I think this is something that's often overlooked on small fasteners, especially in, in power sports industry, which I'm a professional in. Uh, we see lots of strip fasteners, and I happen to be uh, restoring this Corvette uh, throttle body for one of my how to wrench customers and as I'm wrapping things up the gasket kit that he sent was way cool because it gave the torque specs and you can see how small these numbers are here 20, you know 35 28 21 or excuse me 35 28 inch pounds three to four newton meters and so I thought I'd just show off a, a couple of tools that I've uh, gotten from the Mac tool supplier uh, you just saw me pull up a snap on one, so I'm not trying to be, you know, favoritism. There's a Craftsman one up there. There's numerous brands. But for some reason, both of my small ones are Mac. Uh, we had a great uh, relationship with the vendor out there in Iowa, Scott Alexander. I'll tag him in here. If you don't have a good Mac guy, he's your man. But uh, I love this guy. I mean, I've used this one like crazy. Uh, it, it, it's super uh, detailed. You could see they'll go, you know, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 as it, it scales up, and uh, it, it's just it's been a useful one on small fasteners. So dig it, way cool. But I honestly I got this because I like tools. Tools are cool, but I kind of bought it more as like, yeah, you okay, whatever. Because look how small it is, and. Today's the first time I actually have used it that I can remember or recall. You know, I can put this uh, Allen key that it comes with and then crank up the uh, the setting in here. Uh, anyway, way cool and was able to go ahead and torque these fasteners and do it the right way. And a lot of times people think, oh, well, geez, it's not that big a deal. But in, especially in this case, we had this really thick fiber gasket. So as you're tightening these down and that crushes that, if you're not coming back and, and kind of ramping it up. I, I like to do torque in two to three steps, so I'll, I'll cut it in half and so on. Well, these really small ones, it doesn't go small enough to cut it in half, so you have to be able to have some of your elbow clicker, you know, that we joke about and talk about as mechanics. What I want to end up with is I want all the fasteners that are of that same torque to uh, land evenly and compress that gasket and then be able to hold that final torque as specified. I don't want to be an engineer. I don't want to have to try and guess or gamble on whether something's, you know, good enough or tight enough. I just don't wrench that way. But so anyway, I thought this was way cool. If you weren't familiar with these really small guys and you're tired of guessing and you're tired of assuming, uh, I'm, I'm working live in the shop right now, so I, I didn't even stop to grab links or anything else. But I will come back to the video. I'll put some links in there for you. Um, but, you know, like I said, Google's a wonderful place. You can find uh, what you're looking for. And uh, hopefully you're out there just uh, having a great day and wrenching away. So I'm going to get back at it. I'm really excited. If anybody's been following this little, uh, some of these little mini videos uh, from Vapor Blasting and and what we were working on, this kind of gives you a rough idea of how bad it was. Um, this thing's turned out really nice, doing some uh, fun. I love restorations, don't do a lot of it uh, these days. So what a great way to get out in the shop and uh, wrench away. So there's my tip of the day, howtowrench.com, tools2wrench.com. If you haven't liked, subscribe. You got a pal that you think could benefit uh, from this video, send it to him or her. And uh, keep sharing your work, my friends. All right, keep wrenching. I'm out.